Another thing I wanted to talk to you before we moved on was the concept of what what are called normals in uh, polygonal geometry. Uh, a normal is a, a vector, a theoretical vector uh, that is pointing straight out from uh, each and every face, um, from a polygon face. Um, so it's um, it's rooted in mathematics in that uh, you know every every uh, geometric side of a of a polygon uh, has a uh, perpendicular uh, imaginary line that points straight out and inside computer graphics uh, there uh, really is no difference in the same sense that uh, the way that uh, when I turn this model side to side and you can see uh, the face starting to get darker, well that's because the uh, the default light sphere that lights this object is now reacting to the position of the face and the face is uh, receiving the light due to the uh, normals that uh, are uh, intrinsic to the object. So um, we're in smooth shaded mode, and obviously if we're in wireframe mode, uh, the normals are not interacting at all with the camera or the lights. But in smooth shaded, if I flip off wireframe on shaded, you can see each edge is uh, rendering uh, with some hardness to it. So um, that is because I've set the uh, faces, I set the normals to face mode, and that exists under the mesh display panel here. Uh, so if I, for instance, wanted to set the normal angle manually, I could do that and I could bring it way down, uh, which is the harder uh, angle, the lower the number, the harder the edge. Um, so that's uh, why that edge now renders very hard. I could bring it all the way down. You can see that uh, it may not appear on your screen, but it's a little harder. I could go all the way with the entire object uh, to the highest number, which is 180, and you can see it's a very soft, almost uh, cottony looking shading that I've got going on now. Uh, because the normals are entirely soft, uh, even though our geometry is has not been changed at all. We haven't moved anything. Uh, we're just playing around with these normals. Um, so you know, 60, 60 or so is a good average between soft and hard. Um, you can uh, jump 100% into the... Uh, uh, to, to the edge uh, hardness by just clicking harden edge or going the other direction, soften edge will put them 100% into the uh, 180 degree uh, normal angle. So, and if you want to get it back, you just hit set to face. Um, there is a way to see visually uh, a normal. So to illustrate that, um, I can go into my display polygons face normals and I can uh, go into display uh, uh, where is it uh, normal side under polygons and I can you know, bump that up you can see these long green handles are showing the, the, the imaginary perpendicular vector. And if I flip my normals, which is also unmeshed display, reverse, now my normals are pointing inwards into the volume of the object. So uh, you see what happens is uh, we've got our back face calling on. If I turn it off, I get uh, sort of a non-lit object because we're uh, still seeing the object, but uh, 
not getting any of the shading or lighting information because that's uh, being uh, obscured by back face culling being turned off. But if I turn it on again, you can see the innards of this object. And that's because um, displaying reverse normals on my object. So if I were to export this into a game engine, you probably you wouldn't see it unless uh, you had a option to render two-sided polygons so that uh, the engine ignored the normals direction. So I'm going to reverse it, and now it's back to normal. Uh, so there is a concept of, there's a similar to face normals, there's a concept of vertex normal, and you might have heard of uh, painting the vertices. Uh, vertex paint is one of the things built into Maya, but uh, we're not going to touch on that. It's kind of a more advanced technique. So um, I just will leave it at that. Uh, but if you ever get into a bind and wondering, you know, why you can't see uh, a, a face or a side of an object, uh, you might have to go in and select individual faces and reverse the normals. Um, that is something uh, that can happen especially if you start getting into extruding edges on uh, duplicate geometry. Because uh, if you duplicate geometry in the negative uh, axis, then sometimes that also affects how edges and, and faces get extruded uh, with negative normals. So just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, we'll end it here and go on and talk about modeling tools in our next video.